Have you ever wondered why our bodies store fat and if all fats are created equal? Well, let's dive into that. It might surprise you to know that body fat isn't just a reserve of extra calories. It's actually a complex, essential part of our body systems, playing key roles in a multitude of physiological processes. Our bodies store fat as a form of energy reserve. When our ancestors were hunters and gatherers, they didn't have the luxury of constant access to food. So, their bodies evolved to store excess energy as fat, which could be used during periods of scarcity. This ancient survival mechanism is still at work in our bodies today, even though most of us have ample access to food. But not all fat is the same. There are three types of fat, white, brown, and beige. White fat is what we typically think of when we talk about body fat. It's the body's main form of energy storage, but it also serves as an insulator and cushion for our organs. Brown fat, on the other hand, is a type of fat that burns energy instead of storing it. This is the kind of fat that babies have to keep them warm. Adults also have some brown fat but much less than babies. The heat generated by brown fat comes from its high concentration of mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Finally, there's beige fat. This type of fat can act like either white or brown fat, depending on certain factors like exposure to cold or certain hormones. It's like the chameleon of body fats. So why does this all matter? Well, understanding these different types of fat and their functions is the first step towards effective fat loss. It's not just about shedding pounds, it's about promoting the types of fat that can actually help us burn energy, while reducing the kind that merely stores it. As we move forward, we'll delve deeper into the science behind fat loss and how you can use this knowledge to your advantage. Understanding these different types of fat and their functions is the first step towards effective fat loss. What exactly happens when we burn fat? This question might sound simple, but the answer is a fascinating journey into the world of biochemistry. At the heart of this process are the body's cellular power plants, the mitochondria. These microscopic powerhouses convert the food we eat into a form of energy our cells can use called ATP. When we're in a state of energy surplus, our bodies store excess energy in fat cells for later use. Conversely, when our bodies need more energy than we're consuming, we tap into these fat reserves, breaking down fat molecules in a process called lipolysis. Now, let's zoom into a fat cell. Here, fat molecules or triglycerides are broken down into two components, glycerol and fatty acids. These fatty acids are then transported to the mitochondria, where they undergo a series of chemical reactions. This process, known as beta-oxidation, transforms fatty acids into ATP, the energy currency of the cell. But how do we get our bodies to switch from storing fat to burning fat? This is where the concept of a caloric deficit comes in. A caloric deficit occurs when we consume fewer calories than we burn. Our bodies respond to this energy shortfall by tapping into stored fat to keep the engines running. Creating a caloric deficit can be achieved in two ways, by eating fewer calories or increasing physical activity. However, it's essential to approach this with balance and not fall into the trap of severe calorie restriction, which can lead to muscle loss and a sluggish metabolism. So, burning fat is essentially about energy balance. It's a complex process, but understanding it can help us make informed decisions about our diet and exercise habits. And while the science might seem complex, the underlying principle is simple. To lose fat, we must create a caloric deficit. Remember, creating a caloric deficit is a fundamental principle of fat loss. Is there a magical diet for fat loss? Now, wouldn't that be a dream come true? But let's take a step back and understand the role of macronutrients in our diets and how they impact fat loss. We've all heard about carbs, proteins, and fats, haven't we? These are the primary macronutrients our bodies need. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of energy, proteins are essential for repairing and building tissues, and fats, well, they're not the enemy. They are fundamental for various bodily functions including the absorption of certain nutrients. When it comes to fat loss, it's not about completely eliminating one macronutrient group but rather finding a balance that works for you. Consuming fewer calories than you burn creates a caloric deficit, leading to weight loss. It's that simple. Carbohydrates, particularly complex ones like whole grains and vegetables, provide sustained energy. Proteins help you feel full, aiding in controlling your appetite. And healthy fats, such as those found in avocados and nuts, can actually assist in weight regulation. But what about those diets we hear about that promise quick fat loss? The ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, or low-carb, high-protein diets? Well, here's the truth. There's no one-size-fits-all diet. 
Our bodies are unique with individual metabolic rates, food preferences, and lifestyle factors. What works for one person might not work for another. It's important to remember that while these diets may lead to initial rapid weight loss, they may not be sustainable or even healthy in the long run. The key to effective, sustainable fat loss is not a magic diet, but a balanced and nutritious eating plan that you enjoy and can stick to. It's about making healthier choices more often, not depriving yourself. So, let's bust the myth once and for all. There's no magical diet for fat loss. It's about understanding your body, your needs, and finding a nutritious balance that suits your lifestyle. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about being consistent. Tailoring your diet to your lifestyle and preferences is more effective for sustainable fat loss than following any miracle diet. So let's make a toast to balance and sustainability, shall we? Can exercise alone make you lose fat? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Let's delve into the science of exercise and its role in burning fat. Exercise can be broadly categorized into two types, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic exercise, also known as cardio, includes activities like running, cycling, or swimming. This type of exercise primarily uses oxygen to fuel the body and can be sustained for longer periods. In the realm of fat burning, aerobic exercise plays a significant role. It burns calories during the activity, and a portion of these calories comes from stored fat. On the other hand, we have anaerobic exercise which includes high-intensity activities like weightlifting or sprinting. These exercises use energy stored in the muscles and are performed in short, intense bursts. While anaerobic exercise may not burn as much fat during the activity itself, it does lead to muscle growth. And more muscles mean a higher resting metabolic rate, which translates to more calories burned throughout the day, even when you're not exercising. Now let's talk about something called afterburn, or as scientists like to call it, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC for short. Ever felt like you're still out of breath or your heart's still racing even after you finished your workout? That's EPOC in action. Your body is working overtime to restore itself to its resting state, and in the process, it continues to burn calories. High-intensity workouts, especially those that incorporate anaerobic exercises, can significantly boost EPOC, leading to enhanced fat loss. However, there's a catch. While exercise is a powerful tool in the fat loss arsenal, it's not a standalone solution. The energy equation still applies. If you're consuming more calories than you're burning, you're unlikely to see the fat loss results you're after. That's why exercise is most effective when combined with proper nutrition. So, to answer the opening question, can exercise alone make you lose fat? The answer is yes, but it's more complex than that. The type of exercise you do, the intensity, and how it's paired with your dietary habits all play crucial roles. Exercise is a powerful tool for fat loss, but it's most effective when combined with proper nutrition. And that, my friends, is the science of exercise and fat burning. Do you know what role metabolism plays in fat loss? It's a fascinating subject, and one that can help us understand the science of burning fat on a deeper level. Metabolism, in a nutshell, is the process by which your body converts the food you eat into energy. This energy then fuels everything from moving muscles to growing hair, with the leftover calories stored as fat for future use. The speed at which this process happens is known as your metabolic rate. Some people seem to burn off energy at a rapid pace, while others might find their calories stick around a bit longer, contributing to stored body fat. A variety of factors influence this rate, including age, gender, muscle mass, and even genetic factors. For example, as we grow older, our metabolic rate naturally slows down. Men tend to have a higher metabolic rate than women, largely due to greater muscle mass. And speaking of muscles, they burn more calories than fat, even at rest. So, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn making resistance training an excellent strategy for boosting metabolic rate. Genetics also play a part, determining our body type and how easily we gain or lose weight. But don't despair if you've been dealt a slow metabolism hand, there are ways to naturally boost your metabolic rate. Staying active throughout the day, not just during workout sessions, can help keep your metabolism revved. Eating enough protein can also give your metabolism a slight boost, as it takes more energy to digest than fats or carbohydrates. And let's not forget about the importance of a good night's sleep. Lack of sleep can slow down your metabolism and increase your appetite, a recipe for weight gain. Remember though, boosting your metabolism isn't a quick fix for weight loss. It's a piece of the puzzle, along with balanced nutrition and regular exercise. A healthy metabolism is not just about burning calories faster, it's about efficiently using the energy from the food we eat. 
So respect your body, nourish it with wholesome foods and keep it moving, your metabolism and your waistline will thank you. Did you know that your lifestyle can directly impact your ability to lose fat? Now you might be thinking, isn't it all about diet and exercise? Well that's only part of the story, your lifestyle including your sleep patterns, stress levels and hydration plays a vital role in your ability to shed those extra pounds. Let's start with sleep. When you consistently lack sleep, your body can produce more of the hormone ghrelin, which signals hunger, and less of leptin, the hormone that tells you when you're full. This imbalance can lead to overeating and consequently, weight gain. So the key is to aim for a solid 7-9 to nine hours of sleep each night. A well-rested body is more efficient at burning fat. Now, let's move on to stress. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol, a hormone that can increase your appetite and lead to weight gain. Chronic stress can also disrupt your sleep and lead to comfort eating, further complicating the fat loss process. Therefore, managing stress through methods like meditation, yoga, or even a simple walk can help regulate your cortisol levels and support your fat loss goals. And let's not forget about hydration. Water is essential in every body process, including fat metabolism. Being well hydrated helps your body function optimally, including your metabolism. It also aids in digestion and can help control your appetite by making you feel full. So, make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. But it's not just about these individual factors. It's about integrating healthy habits into your daily life. This could mean establishing a regular sleep schedule, incorporating stress management techniques into your routine, or setting reminders to hydrate regularly. Remember, Fat loss is not just about diet and exercise, it's a lifestyle change. By paying attention to these lifestyle factors and making necessary adjustments, you can create an environment that supports your fat loss goals and promotes overall health and well-being. Ever experienced a weight loss plateau? Let's understand why they happen. Picture this, you're following a diet, exercising regularly, and you're losing weight. Then suddenly, the scale refuses to budge, despite your best efforts. This is what we call a weight loss plateau, so why does this happen? Our bodies are incredibly adaptable. When you reduce your calorie intake, your body learns to function on fewer calories. Over time, this can slow down your metabolism, causing your weight loss to stall. This is the body's survival mechanism kicking in, an echo from our ancestors who had to survive periods of food scarcity. Now, how do we overcome this hurdle? The key is to trick your body into reigniting its fat-burning furnace. One effective method is to mix up your exercise routine. Challenge your body in new ways, whether it's incorporating high-intensity intervals into your workouts, trying out a new sport, or lifting heavier weights. By keeping your body guessing, you can help push past the plateau. Next, consider your nutrition. If you've been on a very low-calorie diet for a while, your body might benefit from a temporary increase in calories. This isn't an excuse to binge on unhealthy foods but rather to fuel your body with more nutrient-dense calories for a short period, which can sometimes reset your metabolism. Another critical factor is muscle mass. Muscles are metabolic powerhouses, burning more calories at rest than fat does. This is where strength training comes in. By building more muscle, you can increase your basal metabolic rate, which is the number of calories your body burns at rest. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn throughout the day, even when you're not exercising. In conclusion, weight loss plateaus are a normal part of the journey. They're not a sign that you're doing something wrong, but rather a signal that it's time to change up your approach. Remember, the key to sustainable weight loss is not just about what you eat or how much you exercise. It's also about being adaptable, persistent, and kind to yourself. Don't be discouraged by plateaus. They're a normal part of the weight loss journey and can be overcome with the right strategies.